Putin loses 24,000 Russian troops monthly in Ukraine, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Russia is losing 24,000 of its soldiers on the battlefield in Ukraine every month. And all of this is for the sake of the imperialist delusions of grandeur of the Russian leader Vladimir Putin, says German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. There is a figure that says 24,000 Russian soldiers are killed or seriously wounded every month, all for the imperialist megalomania of the Russian president, Scholz said during a forum at the Festival of Democracy. According to the latest data of the Ukrainian general staff, Russian losses in the war against Ukraine have already exceeded 50,000 soldiers. In addition, the Russians have already lost 357 aircraft and 7,662 tanks. Both Ukraine and Russia rarely, if ever, provide official updates on their own casualties. Conversely, the numbers of casualties on the opposing side are sometimes inflated. In February, President Volodymyr Zelensky first revealed 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers killed. He dismissed higher figures from Russia and the United States. In Moscow, there are no official announcements regarding casualties among their soldiers. Instead, it seems certain information is being deliberately suppressed. Take, for instance, the case of Russian military blogger Andriy Morosov. It's believed he committed suicide in February after he was allegedly pressured by the Russian military command to remove his reports on casualty figures. Before his death, Morosov shared a farewell message on his Telegram channel where he mentioned a demand to delete his report. In that report, he cited 16,000 Russian soldiers killed in the battle for the Ukrainian city of Avdiivka. In March, during the battle for the city of Bakhmut, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the founder of the Wagner Group, revealed a five-digit number of casualties on the Russian side. A few months earlier, the British intelligence service had estimated the number of slain Wagner mercenaries at 20,000. Prigozhin's claim confirmed that figure. The tallies from Western observers also vary. In mid-March, NATO estimated 350,000 Russian casualties, both killed and injured. The US intelligence service gave a similar count of 315,000 in December 2023. The Russian media company Media Zona doesn't attempt to estimate the number of casualties, but does document the number of killed Russian soldiers using publicly available data and sources. By mid-February, the outlet had uncovered 45,000 killed Russian soldiers. For the conflict in Avdiivka, these figures add up to 6,600 confirmed Russian soldier deaths. Recently, Russia's new defense minister, Andriy Belosov, made headlines. He did not provide specific casualty numbers for Russian soldiers, but expressed his intent to significantly reduce the number of casualties. This suggests that the Russian casualties have been high. Oh, so true.